Water has been called the source of life. Every animal, plant, and tree needs water to survive. And so do you. In this short video, we are going to look at what water does for your body, how to know if you are drinking enough water, and how to increase water intake in your diet. So why does our body need water? Our bodies are made up of about 60% water. Did you know your heart is around 75% water? And your muscles are an estimated 79% water. Even your strong bones are made up of about 25% water. Water does so much for our body. It regulates our body temperature and keeps us from getting too hot or cold. It flushes out waste from your body and helps in digestion. It helps create saliva in your mouth, which is important in breaking down food. It helps prevent constipation. It is necessary for blood circulation, which allows oxygen to reach all parts of your body. It helps to boost your immune system and fight off infection. It helps us think better, as the brain is mostly water and requires water to keep working. These are just a few of the things water does for our bodies. It is so important to give your body this important tool in keeping you healthy. So how much water do you need? An easy goal for your water intake each day is eight glasses of water, with each glass being eight ounces. Eight glasses, eight ounces, for a total of 64 ounces per day. For someone who is very small or large in size, that number can be adjusted a little bit. But a good general rule is eight glasses of water. It sounds like a lot, and if you're not used to drinking that much water, you may need to work up to that goal over a couple of weeks. It is best to ask your doctor how much your water goal should be as each person has unique needs. A common statement people will make is, I drink a lot of coffee or soda. So that counts as water, right? While the base of other drinks is always water, caffeinated beverages like coffee or soda can actually cause you to urinate more and therefore lose even more water. Your daily water intake should come mostly from just water, but it can be supplemented with teas, milk, and juice. Let's take a look at a sample daily diet and how you can reach your daily water goal. This is Mary. She's a 72-year-old woman and lives in an assisted living facility. Her meals are all provided for her and she is only slightly active because she has bad knees. When Mary wakes up in the morning, she has medications to take. She takes these medications with an eight ounce glass of water. Well, my bed's kind of lumpy. I'm sorry to hear that. I have some medication for you. Okay. Water. Would you like to finish it? It's important to get eight glasses of water every day. Mm, okay. All done? Mm -hmm. Are you joining us? For breakfast this morning? Yeah, I'll eat breakfast this morning. Okay, I'll see you in the dining room. Okay, I'll see you over there. Mary enjoys breakfast in the dining room with her friends. On her tray is a four ounce glass of orange juice and an eight ounce cup of non-caffeinated tea. It's only 9 a.m. and Mary has already had 20 ounces of her 64 ounces. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. That looks wonderful. Do you have enough to drink? I've got my tea. Thank you. I've got two drinks. Yeah, there's just a lot of drinking going on in this place. Wow. I already had my water this morning. Wow. I need to get working on this. Yeah, there is a lot of drinking here, huh? Mm. Lots of water. But my skin is softer. Oh. I think it's from the water. I should drink more water then. Yeah. Throughout the morning, Mary carries with her a 12 ounce water bottle. She frequently takes sips and is able to finish all 12 ounces before lunch. It's hard lunch. to drink as much water as they tell you to drink, you know? 
best when it's cold in a high grow. Ah, uh, I need to get me one of those. All right, cheers, keep it up, keep drinking. <laughs> Mary enjoys her lunch in her apartment, which includes an eight ounce glass of iced tea. She's now up to 40 ounces. Thank you. Try to take a sip every time you get a commercial. Oh, I can remember to do that. Okay. All right. In the early afternoon, Mary attends a chair exercise class. During the 30 minute class, she drinks half of her water bottle for another six ounces. Right leg. Left leg. Before dinner, Mary continues sipping from her water bottle and finishes the last six ounces. There it is. Finally finished. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Caffeine. Yeah, I heard sodas aren't good for you. I don't think they count towards your water that you're supposed to be drinking all day. Really? Yeah. Mary again joins her friends in the dining room for dinner. With her delicious dinner, she enjoys a four ounce glass of milk and a four ounce glass of iced tea. This, along with a four ounce glass of hot water before bed, brings her to her daily water goal. Looks good. Yeah, do you think I could have a tall glass of water? I have a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, sure. Let me grab it for you. Thank We're you. getting our water today. Lots of water. That looks good. Mm, yes, I know. I'm so excited about it. Mm. Drinking enough water each day will help your body to function in all the right ways. Older adults are especially susceptible to dehydration or not enough water and it can lead to issues such as urinary tract infections, kidney infections, and delayed healing. Work with your healthcare team to figure out a good water goal and get drinking. Cheers!